there's the possibility that Donald Trump could use a remittance tax, which would obviously be very negative for your company. But somebody would say, well, okay, it's negative for one company, but it might be good overall for the United States. What would you say to them? I think the remittance tax is quite an absurd idea. You know, we're looking at people who are supporting their families and then laying on a tax on top of that, I think just can't help anyone. And then how does a company like TransferWise react to something like that? You know, without knowing the details of how it would work, it's actually it's pretty, hard to, pretty hard to have an answer. But you know, we, if, if there's a tax which we need to collect from customers, then we would obviously, obviously be doing that. What type of effect has Brexit had on TransferWise? So we've actually seen uh, much more usage as a result of Brexit, which you know was was a was a great surprise to us. And I guess we can look at it so that as 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 there is more volatility, people are actually looking much more closer at the, how they're sending money. But also there is the negative side of Brexit. So we benefit from the passporting of financial services in Europe. Also, as as we have offices in multiple countries, including London, you know we benefit from movement of labor inside the European Union. So these things are, are things which are, which are now worries for us that, you know, how will regulation in Europe work? But at the end of the day, has Brexit been good to your company overall, the bottom line? I think overall Brexit will still be, will still be negative for, for TransferWise and the industry. There does seem to be a changing tide in the atmosphere uh, and how people are talking about immigrants. You're an immigrant to this country, to England. Why do you think that the tech company sees the issue of immigration in such a different way from how a lot of the population see it, clearly by how they're voting? So I think tech companies, uh, if we look at the statistics, we can see that a lot of tech companies are started by immigrants. I think also tech companies uh, do look at uh, a very diverse population as their customers and then a lot, of, a lot of the people who use tech companies are immigrants, a lot of the people who work at tech companies are immigrants. Oftentimes it comes down to talent. A lot of the times you need to look for talent overseas, so it's making a world which is much more friendly towards, towards immigration is something which, which works very well to help the companies grow.